Hey guys, me and Alex are back with some more American candy trying, but this week it's a little bit different. Yeah, recently we uploaded an Easter candy video, but it was over an hour long because oh, as well so as long. Easter candy, there was also normal candy. Mm -hmm. We just thought it was going to be too much, so what we decided to do was split it up, and this video is going to be all the non-Easter stuff, and obviously we didn't have an intro for that, so we thought... So here we are filming another this one is it. with Bob. Oh, it's alright, Bob. And he's really Bob. pleased about it. <laughs> Penny's already gone off. So we hope you enjoy watching this video. What is this um here? Olive. There's two of them. They're olives. Oh my word. Liquid free. Now I feel like I remember one time being in America and seeing a pack like that and thinking, oh my word, there's olives in there. How cool. This makes me think of the kind of thing you get on an aeroplane. Yeah. Like a little pack. Thanks for joining us today, sir. Here's your complimentary pack of olives. So these are pitted Kalamata olives. Natural and sun ripened. And these are pitted green olives marinated with chilies and black pepper. And the brand is Gaia. Now I am more of an olive fan. I'm the biggest olive fan I've ever been right now. This is this is the olivus olive olivist. olivist time of your life. Season two. Ooh, the smell of these. It smells amazing in here. I wonder how hot these are gonna be. What are these... you think they're spicy? Yeah, it says marinated with chili. Oh, would well, you want to try this one first? Is this going to be um, Dad and Matt hot in Lanzarote? Oh, that was really good. They're really great. But actually, that's you they're never not that think, hot. You never think to grab a snack of olives that you like a pack of olives, do you? No, well, do we I'm them? not sure we have them here. Usually, you get them like in a little pot. These are much bigger. And they're a bit annoying, whereas this is quite handy to hang around, isn't it? Mm, which ones do you prefer? I think the first one. I think I actually prefer ones. the black olives. I prefer the black olives. There's a lot more flavour in oh there. Oh my word! This has only got 30 calories per pack, whereas that's got 70. A lot of difference. Mmm. Mm, they're delicious. Really they're delicious. delicious. What do you give them those? I give them a nine out of ten. You know. Now something I think you might enjoy. Biggs <laughs> Hidden Valley Ranch Sunflower Seeds. <laughs> Doesn't that just look American to you? This looks like a packet of beef jerky. It does, but with sunflower seeds in. So Hidden Valley, that logo looks like it's on jars. Well, yeah, I think it's on jars of ranch. Ooh. And we love, because you Hold don't get on. ranch here, but we love no, ranch when we you go to No, we love America. ranch. Is it Hidden Valley has done a collab, with or Biggs. a collab, with Biggs? Yeah, I think so. I do love but like how seeds. ranchy is this going to be? <laughs> how ranchy? <laughs> if it gets too ranchy, we won't be able to put it on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's. Mmm. And probably easier than dipping sunflower seeds in mm. ranch. I actually think they're really good. Mm. I think they've added flavour. If you're someone who wants to like get into seeds and nuts, mm. if you get a flavour with them, yeah. it might help you Good place to start. transition. Mm. Mm. We have some other what are these savory wonky things donkey here. Things? What are wonky donkeys? Who? Oh, here. Honey salt cashews, Johnny Almond Nut Company, cinnamon almonds. Cinnamon almonds. And what have you got? Honey salt cashews. Honey salted cashews. These just remind me, like, pinned up on a fair or something. Yeah. Ooh. Look how, like, thick it is. They're good. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. They're very really nice. Almond? I suppose. They're probably like a 10. No. I've got an aftertaste of doctors in my mouth. No. Mmm. <laughs> They're so good. That doesn't taste like I'm eating an almond. No. Because there's so much sugar on it. Probably. <laughs> it almost tastes it's almost like, like a donut. <laughs> a cinnamon pretzel. Mm. Okay, I think I prefer the honey cashews. I definitely do too. But actually, the cinnamon is nice. No. It's almost like I'm eating the These cinnamon. These are the best. These mm. are amazing. Well, you can oh. get the rest of those. Oh, good. These are a 10. These are probably an 8. These are a 9. These are probably an 8. Yeah. Mm. Johnny Almonds. Can I do something? Yes, please. Coopers. Are they liquid? I think so. Raw honey sticks. Pure local honey. So is it like honey in there? Yeah, I guess so. Should we just crack one open and have a yeah. little suck? Oh my word. We've also got something else that looks really local. Anderson's Peanut Rounder. Why <laughs> is it pink and red? I don't know. I wonder what else is Peanut in there. Peanut sugar, corn syrup, water. 
Citric acid. FDMC red, red 40. Why did they put Why red 40? Why have they got red 40 in Couldn't there? it have just been brown? Is this a hockey cup? Cup. What? <laughs> Puck. Puck. Yeah, look at that. It looks like a tube of cola. It's just like a stick of honey. Should we put it into a little jar or something? Yeah, maybe. A little dish. I've never seen such dark honey. Usually honey's like golden, isn't well, it? It's and quite really light. Thick. It looks more like treacle or something. Oh wow, well, yeah. Unless it's just like it's like treacle, isn't it? Hmm. Is that mixed with anything else? Hey Penny. Hmm. It mm. does almost taste like treacle. That's delicious. Hmm. That's really good honey. Wildflower, produced in the USA grade A, and it's pure local honey. What a great way to like sell it in those sticks. Yeah. It's quite handy. I wonder if people actually drink it out of the stick. <laughs> oh, it says, it. Copper's raw wildflower honey sticks made a qu make a quick and convenient on-the-go snack or energy booster. Enjoy them just about any time and anywhere. To eat, <sighs> simply bite the end and the stick will pop open. Then squeeze the delicious goodness cut to enjoy. Oh, out. Because it's basically like pure sugar. Imagine, you know, yeah, I have like things when I go cycling. cycling. You could have one of those, just bite it and... It mm. says, Cooper's, I've been calling it copper. Cooper's raw wildflower honey is straight from the hive to your table and produced by local beekeepers in the Midwestern United States. We have slightly heated and strained this uniquely tasting honey to remove large piece of a honeycomb, prop, pop, propolis or beeswax. Enjoyed that. Really Says, good. Yeah, that's really good. I feel really sticky from this video. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder what what that's actually made of. Is it like sugar? Yeah, it seems like it. It's just kind of hard. Very strange. Do you like it? It's kind of odd. Because sometimes it is nice with peanuts because they're quite dry to have something sweet with it. Not so sugary. So I can see why they've done it. But like... The puck bit is like almost just pure sugar with red Literally colouring. pure sugar. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I was mm. going to, but it really is sweet, isn't it? Mm. Really sweet. I'd love to know if people, mm. you know, you actually eat a whole entire one. Yeah, one It seems guy, like a big, um, a big accomplishment yeah. to do that, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, I really want to try this. Com. If this is Cliff Kid. Now, oh, Alex Cliff. loves Cliff Bars. I love Cliff Bars. Now, this is Cliff Kid. It says organic uh, Z fruit. I remember when we were in Santa Monica, to be precise, and we went into a Jamba Juice and they started selling Cliff Kid things there. Oh, really? And I thought, I've never oh, these seen look Cliff really Kids cool. Before. But this is good because it's um, USA, USDA organic. Made with pure fruit, pureed fruit no high fructose corn syrup. So I think they always try and make them out of good stuff. That's not licorice, it's a fruit stick. Yeah, it's a pure fruit. Mm. That's I'm good, isn't it? Mm. It's almost like those fruit roll-ups. Mm. On your stick form. I would take this over Twizzlers any day. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. So thingy, you would as well. I would as well, oh, Hold yeah. on, red vines, I mean. Yeah, well, Twizzlers as well. Because I'd rather have something that's like fruity mm. as opposed to like rubbery. Absolutely delicious. I give that a nine out of ten. I give that a nine out, nine and a half out of ten. Mm. Keep saying this. Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting you to pick that. It's like a lollipop stick, but what are they called? Skewers. Skewers. It's almost like a skewer, but a lollipop made out of sweets. How cool is that? And it's a Krabby Patty. Oh yeah, from SpongeBob. It's from SpongeBob. Now something like this is something I would have loved to pick growing up. I feel like mum wouldn't have let me buy that though. Nah. Like, look at the colours. So who is a SpongeBob watcher? We never really watched it religiously, did no. we? Like, Most of my knowledge of SpongeBob now comes from SpongeBob the Musical. Oh yeah. Mm. Anyone heard that? What's anything... the favourite song? Um, chop to the top. Oh yeah. Chop, chop to, to the top. top. You're gonna chop to the top. Don't no, ever stop. Now. As everyone. Right. So. <laughs> As everyone is enjoying the Matilda references, I'm going to do another one. Oh. I can't remember. Are you gearing up for it, are you? I can't remember. What I love how two of them are like that way, up. that way. <laughs> well, if they're that way up, you save how much money? Because yeah. you don't. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it looks good. Okay, turn to me. Yeah. In Matilda. <laughs> do you remember her doing no. that? So she's got <laughs> these marshmallows on the stick and she's like. 
yell and I can't remember what she says. Is that in the theatre or? No, in the, in the in the film she's like, you got looks. I can't remember what it is, but she definitely. In which scene? The mum. Oh, I can't remember what it is, oh, but like she's like eating something. The, isn't the she? sales guys are like yeah. out the window, yeah. and she like makes these marshmallows, yeah. and then she chews them. Yeah. After I watched that scene, I put marshmallows on a stick. Really? Yeah. So, how would you eat that if you were a child? Would you try bite it off? No, I'd just do this. Really? Mm. Mm. Really good. That's really good, actually. Real nice. Really nice texture. Mm. <laughs> you know, for something that looks like it's really for kids, that's mm. really delicious. Well, good. What are you giving that? I'm gonna give it a nine, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a nine. Kid me will give that a ten out of ten, yeah. though. As for one sweet, can we try these? Yeah. These are cry baby tears, extra sour candy. Let's see if you're a cry We've baby. We've got lemon, cherry, grape, orange, watermelon. These look quite um, traditional. How funny, they're like in the shape of a tear. Oh. They are tiny. Oh, wow. Wow. I think that's probably the taggiest thing we've ever tried. Woo! Don't you think? Oh, yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna try to find an orange. Oh, there's oh watermelon in here, by the way. Oh my word. Really? Oh, it's so sour. Mm -hmm. I feel like my, oh, I feel like my teeth are gonna come out. They weren't lying, actually, about On the sour ones. scale, I think they're like an eight out of 10. Yeah. I think things That's from... the sourest thing I've ever had. Although, no. What? Swedish candy. Oh, yeah. That I was think more Swedish salty, candy is 10. No, remember the, the flat ones? Oh, yeah. They're a 10 out of 10 on sour. They're like 8, 9. Anything you want to try now? Should we stick um, to like sweets? These look awesome, don't they? Yeah. Let's try so now. these are really cool, and these say new. They're Matchams. I wonder if this is a completely new like brand mm. or if you can get Matchams anyway. Make up to 28 sweet and sour flavour combinations. Oh, because one's got oh. a hole in and one's got yep. a sticky out bit. Excuse me. And you put them together. So fruit punch That's is so orange cool. and cherry. Bubble gum is banana orange. Blackberry is sour, blue raspberry and sour watermelon. Kiwi is sour green and pear. And red apple is pear and strawberry. How do That's they cool. taste like that? What kind of flavour? Oh. oh my word. It's so funny, isn't it? Oh, this has got an any. I'm gonna try do red apple, which is apparently pear and <laughs> strawberry. I've done my first camp combo. Where red? Look at that. Actually, I'm gonna do banana and orange, which is apparently bubble gum. Mm. I love the concept of that. I love the concept. Such a cool idea, isn't it? And with sweets, the flavour's quite nice. Mm. The chew's quite nice, but they're not the most amazing sweets. No. But they the are concept's good. probably like a nine. The actual. Seven. Is a seven, yeah. How oh, they've pulled it off. So this is Kansas City's own barbecue sauce. Gates. Barbecue. Original classic. Yeah, I think so. What are we going to do with this? A little finger dip, I think. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're actually Ooh. almost through this box. <laughs> this could take a while. Whoa, it Ooh. really smells barbecue-y. The flavour is strong in this one. Oh, that smells so good. Wow, that smells insane. Let's have a little, smells so smoky. It smells really smoky. I'm good. Whoa. Oh, it's quite a little bit spicy. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow, yeah, on that tongue. Do you know what? One of the main ingredients is mm. tomato concentrate, and I can really, really taste tomato, that. Really tomato, yeah. Really tomato -y. That's a great barbecue sauce. That's a sauce. really good barbecue sauce. I like that. It's the kind of thing I could really get, mm. sink my teeth into. I feel like um, in Kansas City, this must be a pretty... Kansas City. I bet they're into like barbecue. I feel, stuff yeah. Like that. And this is the original classic. I wonder if mm. they've got like different ones. I feel like this would probably be quite a big popular yeah. one in Kansas City. Yeah. You no, know, like a like, no, local one. Mm. But I feel like the states around it probably get that as well, do you yeah. not think? I'd say so. So this is oatmeal raisin with walnuts, Mrs. Fields. Was that who I couldn't who we think had of the originally. name? Debbie. How funny. Debbie Fields. Oh my God. There's little Debbie and there's and Debbie, Debbie Fields. Fields. First learned she can make people happy just by baking them a cookie back in 1977. Today, we're still baking her cookies with the best ingredients and a lot of love. Oh, nice. Should you Wait, try so, it? Yeah. I think Alex's favorite cookie out there has to be like oatmeal, oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin, especially when they're freshly baked. There's nothing better. Or even like if you stay at a hotel in um, America, sometimes on the reception desk they'll have cookies and quite yeah. often that oatmeal raisin. 
so good. Yeah, maybe this is. Hey, Santa Monica. How funny. Taste of nature. Not too bad, this should be Dubai. Ooh. It's kind of floppy, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like chewy. It's quite moist. I like the texture. Mm. Taste wise, almost tastes like packaged icing. Packaged like. It really, obviously, cream. it is, but it really tastes like a packaged. It does, good, yeah. Doesn't it? So I think I do prefer Hostess and Little Debbie's. Yeah. It has got a really nice aftertaste though after I've finished eating that. We have Sweet Kettle Corn, Amish Country, White Hullers, Microwave Hol Popcorn. Holders. Holders. So shall we put this Holders, on? Holders, I think. This really reminds me of the smell of popcorn in like Disneyland. Yeah. Or at like a theme park. Now it doesn't actually say a flavour on here, but it's called Sweet Kettle Corn. And we've got a little info here. It was the year 1965 in the Amish country community of Ben, Indiana, when Roy Lehman planted a small plot of popcorn for his six-year-old son, Brian. Brian then began supplying his family with popcorn and even remembers carrying popcorn to school with his sixth grade teacher being one of his first loyal customers, his most loyal customers. As he finished high school, he wanted to stay on the family farm. So his dad suggested he go from planting an acre of popcorn to planting 25 wow. acres. And that is how it all got started. Years later, Brian is still in the popcorn business. The people who know him best would tell you that he is known for the following two things, serving the Lord and selling popcorn. <laughs> like, and look how white it looks. Yeah, I don't think I've clean. seen, and that must be white, maybe like you say, like the white holeless, a specific yeah. corn. Type of popcorn. Yeah, type of corn. Oh, it's kind of sweet. Sweet. Should have known. How was that? Made it better or worse? Well, there's ones like sweet and that's like salty mm. and buttery. This this corn is so good mm. because it's so fresh. I, 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 I really like how white it is. I it's, think when we get a fresh product, it's just so, so good, good and refreshing that it's a ten quite often, unless it's terrible. Okay, now following on from that, yeah. should we try <laughs> <laughs> jelly, <laughs> jelly bean, belly popcorn. butter pop? Uh, Jelly Belly Buttered Popcorn. Popcorn? Popcorn. Don't you just love that little pack? That's cute, isn't Four it? Four calories that... per bean. I think I have had popcorn Jelly Belly beans before. Really? Yeah, I think you can get these in the UK. In the UK. In the UK. Oh, there you go. Love that one. Oh, yeah. Because was it our Uncle Stevie used to Cheers. love Jelly Belly? I think so, didn't he? Mum and Dad used to get it quite a lot growing up. Mmm. Mm. That's actually really good. It does taste like sweet and buttery, mm. doesn't it? It tastes mm. like... <laughs> That's tastes amazing. Like I'm in the grove. Mm. I've just got my soda. A large? A large? We got the money. Got the money. And you got the fringe. I got the Johnny Bravo fringe. I'm really annoyed. He was a skater boy, so see you later, boy. He, <laughs> he wasn't, wasn't good enough, boy. Some of the jelly bean flavours I'm not the biggest fan yeah. of, but that's really good. Real now, good. I'm really annoyed because when I went to, every time I've gone to America, gone to the cinema, I always see this tap that says butter. And I always, I'm always, i always like, ooh, that looks disgusting. But then someone I know recently went to the movies mm. in America and they did that. Yeah. I don't, like, why have we never actually tried a little bit on some popcorn? Why have we never done that? I was always too scared. Okay, something that I've never seen before, and these are new, so how many of you have had this before? Tic Tac gum. And tropical flavor. Cool tropical. Like, this is really interesting, but the only thing is, like, it's so small, so, like, how You'll much- You'll need a couple to get there. How much flavors in? We got a gum, oh, good flavor. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm on the beach in a- uh, Yeah. I feel somewhere. like I'm sipping a daiquiri. Yeah. And what it's just cool tropical. Mmm, it is kind of cold. Isn't it cold? Mm. How weird is that? Mm. <laughs> so Although good. now it's a little bit artificially. Yeah. I wonder how much gum you'd get with one. The flavour stayed on that for That's quite a while. That's amazing. Really good. I've got to give that a 10 out of 10. I'll probably give that a 10 as well. I do generally prefer mint chewing gums mm. to fruit ones, but I think there was something about that coolness. That, that it was cold. Like, almost gave it a mintiness. Yeah. Okay, a few things left. We've got the, how do we say that again? Dasani. Dasani, is it? Or Das. Dasani, must be. Drops in pink lemonade. Mm. Now, 
Jason doesn't know, but I absolutely love the what brand is it? I'm gonna go get it. This is the one I get, the crystal light liquid in strawberry lemonade. And when I go to America, I stock up on this. And when I previously just went to Texas, I bought, you know, Welch's, the gummy mm. sweets, fruit snacks. They have it. They had powder in peach watermelon or something. That's cool. So I bought six sachets. So I absolutely love this one. And I mix this with fizzy water. Oh, do you? Yeah, and it's incredible. Is that now you've got into sparkling water? No, I actually did it before, really? but I feel like it helped me get into sparkling water. How much do you need? I've never really been into well, this stuff. Well, how much did you just... Just a little squirt, but like there isn't much that, water Like that, I'm probably gonna do like... <laughs> so you can see Oh, that color. much? Yeah. All oh, right. well, I definitely didn't put it Well, uh, unless you just try mine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it does have pink lemonade flavor. Yeah. And when you have it with fizzy water, it really is like you're drinking lemonade. Although I say that, a lot of Americans, when you say lemonade to a waiter, I yeah. forgot when I was in Texas, I said lemonade, meaning fizzy lemonade. Yeah. They bought me out fresh lemonade. So it does the have fresh that stuff sometimes, depending on where you delicious. go, is really good. And other times it's like... Yeah, quite tart. But I was expecting it to be fizzy lemonade. So when yeah. I got it, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but that does taste like mm. freshly made lemonade. Yeah, lemon drops. I probably have put too much in, but I think it depends on you. Yeah. Do you want to try the really fruity no, ones? Now, you know my love for Ziploc bags. Yeah. America just knows how to do it. <laughs> With Star, Star Wars, Wars edition. <laughs> you know who that is? Yeah, that is... Um... My name's Sky. I'm a person. My name is Annika. What's her name? Why can I not think of that. her name? Guilty, I haven't actually watched a full episode, uh, film of um, Star Wars. Ready for this opening? Ooh, some nice little treats in here. Black Forest, so juicy, so good. Valentine Heart, fruit flavored snacks. So cute. Cherry, watermelon, and strawberry. We've got some chapstick. Now I always wondered like why you guys call it chapstick and I think it's because you have a brand called chapstick. Yeah. In England, we would call this lip balm. Because your lips are chapped. Ooh, sweet papaya and pumpkin pie. Ooh. And then we've got three of these L. Francis, I think you say it, like fudgy. Ooh, that's sweet. I got my lippy on it. Oh. They're good. They're like fruit snacks. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're fruit snacks. I think they said fruit snacks. Mm. Oh, look at that. Have they got something in the middle? No. But they've got what such a nice bite. Just had? Orange, I think. There's no orange in here. Oh, I'm going to try pumpkin pie chapstick. Mmm. Lovely texture. I think it's because it's a fruit snack. More like um, Welch's. Mmm. Oh, what's this? Coffee truffle. Yeah, let's see how this. I'm side. gonna put that in my handbag. I'm not sure I've ever wanted our lips to kind of smell slash taste of yeah pumpkin pie. Um, oh, there's a it lid. does have like an essence of it. Yeah, not um, really strong. It's more like the kind of smoky, uh, you know, the the spiced. Yeah. Look at this bag. Do you want? Oh, that's cool. What's one that for say? you. Five below. One for you. The rest for me. That's how I like it. Do you want to try the coffee thing first and then this? Yeah, go on then. Okay, people in the comments. I know. Get your mouth around it. Get your mouth on it. The thing is Eat though, it. I'm taking bigger bites. Shove it in your bite. mouth, shove it in your mouth. I'm taking bigger bites, but at the end of the day, like having a bigger bite of something isn't gonna make me like it more. If anything's gonna make me like it less. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's crunchy on the outside. Okay. And kind of soft in the middle. Oh, my beer like. Interesting. It's almost like, um, Mmm, that's really delicious. That's good, isn't it? Have a look in here. Almost like a world is original. Not tried these bazookas. No. And we love these. You know what they say? Bazooka, that bazooka. <sighs> Hold on. Is there a tattoo in there? Yes. <laughs> but the question is, is it a tongue tattoo? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's like a game. Oh, a code maker. Oh, so we could write codes together and send messages mm. and people we didn't want to see them wouldn't know. What do you just eat? It's, it's bubble gum. Oh, it's got really good flavor. Not good flavor bubble I feel gum. like I've had bazooka before. Ah. Oh. Bit of sweet. Yeah. Oh, you've had bonjela. Oh, you've had bazooka. Mm. Well, where should moisture it's around? It's one of those things that 
Or you just want to get it in the side and go. I'm going to moist this bubble gum. Mm. Let's try these. The original apple head. Now we've tried the lemon ones before. Yeah, you're a lemon head. And a lot of people said they suck this and then almost like take the outer shell off, I think they said. Because mm. mm, we just bit straight into them. Mm. And then they it's did like... It's almost woody. Yeah, it does taste almost woody. Mm. Oh wow, it's tiny. And what do you do after you've done that? And I think just to eat it. Yeah, so there's like an outer shell. And then I think you suck in the middle of it. Still not my cup of tea. Mm. But... Tangy. I think I prefer those to the lemon ones though. If you like tangy, go for it. Mm. Get those. Mm. At first though, they do have a weird flavour, yeah. like the box. It was really woody, <laughs> like earthy or something. That is good though. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed watching that. If you'd like to check out our British candy box, we'll leave a link down below. We just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has been sending us a box. We're a little overwhelmed right now, aren't we? Yeah. So your box is coming if you have sent us one, so don't worry. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it. I remember enjoying it. It was good it. at the time. I'm enjoying sitting on here. Could you imagine doing a candy yeah. video over here? Let's know. We'll leave a little poll up there. I Should we start because sitting because I'd here? be sat down and you'd just be seeing yeah. <laughs> rolls and rolls. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you next week with another trying video. Bye, guys. See ya.